What's up, guys? It's Rich. Um, a little bit of a different video today. Um, today it's gonna be not a gaming video. We're actually gonna be doing an unboxing of a keyboard that was sent to us by Wooting. So big shout out to Wooting for sending us out the 60 HE to take a look at. Um, I'm gonna be trying this out over the next few days, over the next few weeks. Um, with Escape from Tarkov, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 beta, gonna give that a roll with this as well. So I've heard that they make some of the best keyboards. The reason being is because of that custom actuation point, the fact that whenever you press into a key, it's gonna be responding a lot quicker than a normal keyboard will because it immediately detects if you customize it, right? You adjust it. The minute you press down on a key, it automatically activates, and then it can also, when you release it, activate again. So it's a lot quicker than a regular keyboard, and it's going to be a lot more efficient in terms of playing FPS shooters. So I'm definitely excited to try this out, and I'm obviously going to give you my feedback over the next few days and weeks, um, especially, so make sure you stay tuned into the stream. But we're going to take a look into it, unbox it right now. I'm excited to see what's in here, and let's open this puppy up. I've never really done... Well, I actually have done a keyboard unboxing in the past before um, 2019, so... Here we go. Wooting 60 HE Plus, man. This thing looks beautiful. I'm so excited to try this out. Um, again, big shout out to Wooting for sending this out to us to take a look at. And I, again, if you guys are curious about this board, I'll have it linked down below in the uh, description. But I'm also going to be playing with this thing on stream. So for those that are curious how it performs or have any questions or anything on it. Also, if you guys didn't know, I'm not really like, I don't really do unboxing videos on my channel. I mean, I play video games, man. So like, Sorry if an unboxing video is kind of scuffed. I'm going to just be completely honest. This is raw. Just me opening it, giving you my initial thoughts and feedback on it. Um, I'm super excited. They have... So, I'm, I know a lot of you guys have gaming keyboards, right? And I know a lot of people have the software. For example, if you have SteelSeries, it has its own software. If you have Razer, it has its own software. If you have Logitech, it has its own software. Um, Wooting actually uses software as well, but it's actually just built into your browser. So, you don't have to download anything, and that's actually really, really nice. Like It's called Wootility, so that's super simple enough. You don't have to go downloading a third-party application. None of that. It's automatically working off the web, web browser. Excuse me. All right. Let's take a look at this puppy. Ooh! Wooting. Wooting. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. It comes with a little, uh, if you look on a website, you'll see this when they're like, when you're gonna buy them, it comes like a little, like, I guess, like, uh, strap. It's, it says, take control, lift here. Okay, lifting. Lifting. We are lifting. I'm trying to lift, hang on. Also, my setup isn't, like, really set up for, like, an unboxing video, so I'm, I'm doing my best with what I have here. Lifting. We are lifting. Hang on, I'm struggling. There's plastic. Probably why. Okay, so the board... Oh my god, the keys feel so nice. Oh, I don't know if I can... I don't think my mic is picking that up. Okay, sorry. I tried slamming that into the mic. Oh my goodness. It feels beautiful to hold. I almost just dropped it. Imagine. So, I'll give you a good look. That's the front. That's the back. You got the rubber pads. They're yellow rubber pads, so it's not going to slide around on your desk. Um, definitely feels grippy enough. I like the fact that it's semi like elevated right here. So it's got its, it doesn't have an, uh, it like keyboards on the back. I'll show you what I have here. So some keyboards on the back, right? They have like the little flip up tabs, right? This one's actually elevated right off the rip. So this is, if you can tell, it's like the keys are going up, right? So it's got this natural elevation. Um, so in the box as well, we have the take control tab. So that's what this is right here. So take control. I'll definitely be putting that on. I don't know how you put this on. We'll figure that out after. Um, be careful installing your switches or you might damage this PCBA. It has the switches installed, but Wooting does sell the board so you can install your own switches. So they sell the back plate and stuff like that. If you build your own keyboards, definitely something I don't know anything about, but they do sell that option for you if you guys are interested in that. So I'm super excited to see that. Um, what else is in here? Oh, how about the Wooting USB-C keyboard or keyboard Wooting USB-C switch cut. So wooden USB-C power cable. So this is what's going to plug into the back of your board. So it's USB-C. Again, I think almost every single like tech product now should be on USB-C. If you're still running micro USB, you need to have a conversation with yourself because we're in 2024, almost 2025, and we're moving on from that stuff. Um, what else is in here? I think I have a key switcher, a uh, key cap switcher in here, key cap remover. So custom switches. What's this? I have in this bag, I have a cap remover right so that's what that is if you guys have never seen that that's easy enough uh two screws don't know what that's for hopefully the board has all the screws installed on it i'm sure it does um rubber cap i'm gonna assume that this is this looks like it's for the for the strap okay sorry so rubber rubber cap and then they give you two extra switches i guess maybe if your switches go bad uh there's a good chance that you'll um 
that was right by the way the box also wait before i show that so the box also shows that that rubber thing is for the strap so um so that's what that's for but in case some of your switches go bad or if you have any issues with them you have two switches you have in here you can just go in and replace those with the tools that they provide for you so really really needed them to do that but um i'm kind of man like this thing looks sick bro um wooding's from i believe they were bait um they were founded from the the original team that made wooding was from the netherlands so that's you know that's where you got the greetings from wooting and then that's like i keep on wooting Wo wooting wooting <laughs> i'm looting um so it's really nice little postcard that they sent in here man but the box design is really nice i'm excited to try out the keyboard honestly it's it's i've been a, for such a long time i've been wanting a wooting keyboard but honestly i don't know why i've never picked one up it's just been like i don't know i've just been stuck doing other stuff and buying other stuff and not buying the keyboard i've wanted right so i'm excited to try this thing out um if you guys want to see i'm gonna go ahead and show some gameplay with this keyboard now playing some escape from tarkov arena so that's an fps shooter um i'm also gonna go over the software here for you guys so i'm gonna switch over to that now but again big shout out to wooding for sending this board out to us man they're awesome for doing this letting us take a look at it and feeling this thing out let me know if you guys have any questions about the board down below in the comments i'll do my best to answer any of them but again i'm gonna be trying it out over the next few days over the next few weeks um but again i'll link it down below in the description as well so if you want to pick one of these up or if you're curious about their website or if you're curious about them you can definitely take a look on their website they have a lot of their information on there but once again, guys, big shout out to Wooding for sending this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the utility. Let's take a look at some gameplay with this thing, and then we'll go from there. So this right here is the website for Wooding. This is called Wootility. Like I was mentioning in the video earlier, um, you don't need to download it. This is a web browser application, so this is really simple. Once you plug in your keyboard, it gives you a couple steps to complete, and then you're ready to go, man. Like, it's super straightforward, really, really easy to use. This is the coloring. So this is where you can change some of the colors, some of the layouts. So you have wave, static, cycle. Um, you can't really see it because my board is down here and it's plugged in, so I can't really show you. But this is where you can customize this stuff, man. You can make it look a little bit, you know, more customized to your color. You can have it set to a specific color. And you can customize it left, right, speed, all that stuff. You know, basic coloring stuff when it comes down to a keyboard. But it's nice to have this because I know a lot of people like to personalize their boards. So the next tabs that we want to go to here and take a look at is performance. So set actuation point. This is what I was talking about that makes this keyboard really special, man. So set the point to activate a key press. So what this does is essentially the minute you press a keyboard, a key, excuse me, on your keyboard, it'll activate once you press down 1.0 millimeters. So if you want to go a little bit further until that key activates and you can raise it, or if you want to go less, like even less of a press, the minute you press that thing, is it, it's activating. So tachyon mode optimizes your keyboard for input speed when enabled every key press response as fast as possible. This is essentially reducing input latency with any of your keyboards so if you want the fastest quickest responsive speed turn this thing on man try this thing out see how quick and responsive your keyboard is i'm going to turn that on and we're going to take a look at that because it should be making my keyboard movements a lot more fluid and a lot more smooth you also have the remap section so if you want to change some of your keys up um if some people play games that have a lot of custom keybinds stuff like that they like to change some of the mappings to certain things i personally like it default but you have that option as well under utility so then you have advanced keys. Advanced keys is like macros, essentially, um, essentially double binding a key to one press, right? So you have that option as well under advanced keys. So it's neat that you get that option if you need to, you know, customize some macros for certain games. So if you need to, if you play like MMOs or something like that, macros might be really helpful for you. Um, but for some people, it also helps in different methods of the game. Um, honestly, I, I think that the fact that you have all of this based into a web browser without having to download a third party application is all you need. Too much bloatware these days on computers, too much stuff to download, too much stuff to install, man. Keep Wooting keeps it really simple and really straightforward with your color tab, your performance tab, remap, and then advanced keys. Like, do you need more? Like, this has everything you need in terms of making one of the best keyboards for competitive shooters out there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to some Escape from Tarkov Arena, which is an FPS shooter, like I mentioned. I'm going to try out the keyboard for the first time on there, and then we're going to see how that goes. Again, guys, so far, if you're enjoying the video, make sure you guys drop that like. Again, I don't do unboxing videos. I generally do video games and stuff like that on my channel. So make sure you guys stay sub for that stuff. But again, big shout out to Wooding for sending this board out to us. All right, guys, so we're going to hop in here. Some Escape from Tarkov Arena, our first time trying out this board here. We're going to see how this goes. It's going to be some raw gameplay here. <laughs> I'm going to do my best to just talk through it, give me my feel and feedback for it. Um, if you guys don't know, Escape from Tarkov Arena is like the 5v5, 6v6, free-for-all version of Escape from Tarkov. Um, where it's just an arena-based like, attack shooter. Oh my god, this guy. Dude, I'm trying to record an intro. I can't hear what I'm talking. Like, it's just not... My ears don't work that way. What? The biggest thing I'm noticing from this board right away is is the slight presses and a slight movement especially like on a space bar or something like that and it's getting me responsiveness so i'm pressing space bar there and it's just so quick that i can i don't have to press all the way down and get activation 
its immediate thoughts are super duper fluid and the movement feels really really good primarily because of the fact that i'm pressing a key and then i can move my fingers right away to the next key especially with a game like q and e man he's on the right side it feels the movement really does feel responsive and really fluid which is like has nothing to do with me dying there seventeen thousand times but it still feels it's it feels just super duper responsive to be able to peek and then lean left and right, make movements, and getting the responsiveness I feel that I should be getting on the board. Oh my god, you're joking. Oh my god. Dogged on. However, I also like think that ASD custom having ASD under custom actuation and then that rapid trigger feel, makes the movement even feel more fluid than it already was. Oh, we're gonna sit in that store. I'm going to stay here yapping with you guys all day. Okay, there we go. <laughs> he came out. <laughs> Feels in response to my movement in game. Feels with a board like this. And it definitely makes it like it. It feels it feels like I'm, I'm more responsive, even though it's like it, it, the game obviously struggles with responsiveness. But having a board that, you know, doubles down on that. Just gives you a one up on other players so so much, man. Like I'm telling you, people who have to press down Q and E on their board entirely and then release it to uh to lean is crazy. Oh bro, I didn't turn on that guy. So after playing for it for the first round, I'm going to have to say I'm definitely going to try it out for the next few days and the next few weeks. And I'll definitely be giving my feedback following up on it, either on my socials or on stream or on YouTube, whatever it might be, right? But this keyboard rips, man. The movement feels so snappy, so fresh, so quick and responsive. The fact that it really feels like there's no input delay cannot be understated. Like, it's hard to see it on video, but once you try it, man, like, it just automatically compared to a keyboard where you have to press all the way down on a key for it to activate. It's crazy work, man. This thing automatically responds to you, especially when you're pressing q and e it feels so much more flowy so i'm so excited to keep playing with this and keep trying it um we'll see how it plays with other games i'm definitely going to be trying it out on other games and seeing how that goes so i'll make sure to give you some feedback on that but again guys i don't really do unboxing and you know like product reviews and stuff like that on my channel this is really raw uncut footage really um and i kind of wanted to give you that feedback raw from you know me playing with it for the first time me unboxing it um and again big shout out to wooting for sending us this board man again if you guys are curious about it i'll have a link below down in the description if you guys have any questions on the board let me know down below in the comments again guys if this video helped you out make sure you drop that like i'll do my best to keep you guys updated as far as my opinions going with the board um maybe come back in a few weeks and drop a comment like pinned on this thing or something like that so other than that guys i'll catch you guys later peace